Fire apparatus must frequently be maneuvered around parked and stopped vehicles as well as tight corners. The ability of the driver operator to accurately judge the distances necessary to successfully complete such maneuvers, as well as to anticipate both the apparatus's tracking characteristics and potential kickout, is paramount. A failure on the driver operator's part to demonstrate adequate knowledge in these areas is a frequent cause of over-the-road fire apparatus accidents. To effectively develop a driver operator candidate's awareness of the turning, tracking, and kickout characteristics of their apparatus, and to reinforce the principles of frequent mirror usage, fender judgment, and attentiveness to vehicle tracking, NFPA 1002 specifies a serpentine course exercise that every candidate should be able to successfully perform before being authorized to drive the apparatus. Driver Operator Skill 4, Maneuvering Around Roadway Obstructions, is a TCFP skill that simulates maneuvering around parked and stopped vehicles in tight corners and assesses the candidate's ability to steer the apparatus in close limits without stopping. The course or path of travel for this exercise is established by three cone markers, each spaced at specific intervals based upon the type of apparatus in which the candidate is performing the skill. The cones marking the course for engine apparatus are spaced 33 feet apart, the placement of which are indicated by solid yellow squares on the drill field. The cones marking the course for aerial apparatus are spaced 38 feet apart, the placement of which are indicated by solid white squares. The yellow and white centermost square serves as a cone marker for both dimensions of the course. An 8-foot yellow starting line has been placed 38 feet from the nearest cone in the course. Apparatus will position at this line to begin the test. What follows is a demonstration of the performance standards of driver operator skill number 4, maneuvering around roadway obstructions. The objective of this performance standard is for the candidate to maneuver around simulated roadway obstructions while moving both forward and in reverse. A minimum of 14 out of 20 possible points and all pass-fail elements are required to successfully complete this skill. In accordance with AFD General Order E13 Safe Driving Policy, the use of a backing guide will be permitted during this test. A 360-degree visual inspection around the apparatus should be conducted before entering the apparatus. Failure to perform this pre-trip inspection will result in a three-point deduction. The candidate should then enter the apparatus using available steps and handrails to lift themselves into the cab. The use of the steering wheel for this purpose will result in a one-point deduction. All mirrors should then be checked and adjusted for proper positioning. Failure on the candidate's part to verify appropriate mirror setting will result in a two-point deduction. Prior to moving the apparatus, the candidate must engage all available passenger restraint devices and ensure that no other personnel inside the apparatus are in a standing position. Moving the apparatus prior to addressing these two safety elements will result in the candidate's immediate failure. Once the candidate has verbalized to the examiner that all pre-trip tasks and checks have been completed, they may begin the driving portion of the skill assessment by moving the apparatus along the left side of the markers in a straight line and stopping just beyond the last marker. The candidate should then begin the exercise backing the apparatus between the markers by passing to the left of the first marker to the right of the second marker and to the left of the third marker. The apparatus should then be back to its initial position at the starting line and stopped. The candidate must then move the apparatus forward between the markers by passing to the right of the first marker to the left of the second marker and to the right of the third marker. Once the apparatus has fully cleared the last marker, the driving portion of the skill objective will be deemed complete. 
Several elements of the driving portion of this skill objective are pass-fail in nature, and certain inappropriate actions on the part of the candidate will result in point deductions. No contact between the apparatus and the cone markers is permitted. Any vehicle-to-cone contact will result in the candidate's immediate failure of this skill objective. A properly trained and competent driver should be able to complete the elements of this skill objective without having to stop and change their direction of travel mid-course. Once the apparatus is moving through the course in a given direction, three points will be deducted from the candidate's overall score each time the apparatus is stopped to effect a change in its direction of travel. Dry steering, turning the front axle of the apparatus while the vehicle is not in motion, will result in a one-point deduction per occurrence. Steering of the front axle full left or right when the vehicle is stationary with the service brake applied has been linked to fractures of the pitman arm on late model Pierce apparatus. Correctly performed, this evolution should involve smooth, continuous movement of the apparatus in both directions. What follows is an uninterrupted demonstration of the driving portion of this skill objective using both an engine and an aerial apparatus.
A minimum of 14 out of 20 possible points in all pass-fail elements are required to achieve a passing score for this skill. This concludes this tutorial of Driver Operator Skill 4, Maneuvering Around Roadway Obstructions. For detailed recommendations on techniques to develop the proficiencies tested in this performance skill objective, refer to the document entitled Driving Course Teaching Points included in the Module 3 resources for this course.